Fix Windows 7 startup problem. You're getting a launch startup repair or start Windows normally message at boot. Windows will not start and you also let that startup repair run for about two hours with no result. You're lost without your laptop. Please power on that computer and before Windows 7 tries to boot, immediately start pressing an F8 key until an advanced boot options menu opens. Select last known good configuration from that menu. Hopefully Windows will boot normally. If previous step does not fix your issue, then this time please go back into that advanced boot options menu before Windows tries to boot. Choose safe mode with command prompt. Once in a black command prompt window, please type in check disk space forward slash f space forward slash r without quotes. A volume is used in message will appear type y and a check disk scan will be scheduled. Reboot that computer and a check disk scan should begin. Well, if none of those safe mode options will work, do you have a Windows 7 installation disk or recovery disk? There might be a recovery partition on that hard drive. Press and hold down a zero key that is a zero key while pressing that laptop's power button if you have a Toshiba laptop. A recovery program should open. Do you have any important data on that computer's hard drive? If you don't have any data you want to save, then you can go ahead and try to restore that computer to factory settings. Make sure that computer is powered off, then press a zero key while pressing a power button at the same time. If you don't have recovery media and a factory recovery partition does not work, then taking it to a computer repair shop might be your best bet. A factory recovery utility should work. Previous instructions were for restoring a Toshiba laptop to factory settings. Your laptop might be different, therefore keystroke combinations might be different to get a factory recovery to work. It could be a lap 11, F12, just depends on that manufacturer and model. Dell, IBM, which is, you know, Lenovo, HP, they have different ways of accessing a recovery partition. As long as you have not overwritten your recovery partition and your hard drive is still in good functional shape, you should be able to recover your computer, especially with modern computers using a recovery partition. Go out onto the internet on Google, perform some Google searches, or go to your manufacturer's support website and try to find out the keystrokes to enter a recovery partition if you do not have recovery media. A lot of computer manufacturers no longer ship CDs for free anymore, and a lot of times they charge for those. But then that's why you have a recovery partition on your hard drive. Quickly, here's how to run a check disk scan at a C prompt or your hard drive prompt. Just type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Hit enter. Well, I don't have root privileges, but I guess I could quickly. I should have set this up. beforehand. Alright, let's try it again. As you can see, you can type in yes or no. I'll type in yes. I can always cancel that scan. This volume will be checked the next time the system restarts, so then go ahead and reboot your computer and then you should see a screen that tells you that a check disk scan will run. I think it's 8 seconds. You have some, I think, 8 or 9 seconds to cancel that. Adios.